Good morning everyone. Welcome back to Honey Bee Farmstead. I thought I'd show you my beautiful calm cow being milked this morning. And I am going to set up the camera and show you how Bonnie is behaving today. Um, she came in with the other cows, which is wonderful. Uh, we've got her in here. I didn't think she would, so that's really good. It's part of, um, you know, baby steps. So trying to get her to uh, trust us and things like that and then come in for food. So she's over there eating a little bit of cattle pellets now before she has her proper breakfast with muesli and all the good stuff. Um, yeah, and then so Brock's going off today. Where are you going, Brock? Where are you? Off to my grandparents' farm to help them out with some uh, shearing. I'll ask if I can. It's not shearing. Not shearing. It's lamb them. marking. Yeah. So, so what what do you do with that? Loading them into the cradle and they're doing the rest. Um, so he's because my my parents are getting a little bit old now. Um, they're not as physically fit as they once were. Grandma, rightly so. Yeah, but Grandma can't still can't lift 150 lambs by herself. That's what? a lot. Of, yeah, babe, but they're not friendly like Sheila. So mum might end up coming out, but if not, I'll film a little, like I'll ask to film a little bit on out there and I'll put it into one of my videos. So yeah, um, he's going out to load the cradle for my parents. They're doing all the, the things that you do, vaccines and taking the bulls and tail and all that sort of stuff. So me learning because we have to do that, so Yeah, so Brock's just learning. He likes to learn heaps of different skills. Uh, so he's going to go off and do that today. Um, heaps more than you'd learn at school, eh? Anyway, so today we are going to do a little lap of the farm and check on everyone. We've got to feed out the veggie scraps we picked up yesterday. Um, so we're going to go a little, a little round doing that and we'll take you along with us. We've got to get the milking done first um, and try to get that out of the way before Brock takes off because he's my physical strength while I'm injured. So, uh, hey beautiful. How's that baby developing, hey? I give her breakfast after in the in the head bowl and everyone can chat to you then. She's getting a lot more friendly actually. So are you feeding the calves, honey? Is that what what you're getting? No, no, I feed I feed Valley after I've done everyone. She stays in after. So can you tip them back into the cattle nuts and then take calf No, inside that drum there's calf pellets. Take that out and feed Sheila and the, the calves. So yeah, we're gonna continue on milking. Um, we hope you enjoyed this video. I don't know what it's gonna entail yet, but yeah, you're gonna come along with the walking wounded and um, and everything that I do. We'll check on the geese that we got yesterday. Um, see how they're all going. They must be absolutely loving their pen. Um, geese are foragers, so they so they tend to like um, eating grasses and things like that, and there's loads of that sort of stuff in the in the little pen that we put them in. Um, hello, beautiful. How are you going? Have you guys seen or noticed that her nose is crooked? I think maybe she had an injury as a baby or something. Like, if you have a look, one of her nostrils is higher than the other. It's kind of a bit twisted. Yeah, anyway, I just noticed that. Yeah, so we're going to check on the geese, check how they're going and all that. We and three eggs today from the chickens too. We're back in eggs. So the chickens are laying. They're really liking their their new little hen house that the boys the boys put um, all the canola straw all over the ground and made it all, made it all nice and soft. The, the, the geese are reacting to the cow. It's a real farm at the moment. Sounds like very farmy. Um, but yeah, so the chickens are loving their new bedding and they've produced three eggs today. So it is the sign that spring is on the way. And we're going to have so many cool things happening. We're going to run the incubator. We're going to produce some chickens. Uh, we've got to separate off our, our purebreds so that they can produce some purebred eggs and we can get some purebred chickens. We're going to start our Buff Orpington, oh sorry, not Buff Orpington, Brahma Isa Brown crosses and see how they turn out. So yeah, plenty, plenty coming. Spring is the best time on the farmstead. There's new babies on the way, all snakes kinds of cool things. Around. Snakes getting around, Brock loves snakes. So I'm going to sit here, finish my coffee, milk out the easy one, and then I'll set up the camera so you can watch me 
be entertained by Bonnie. Well, she, she's not that bad. <laughs> well, she might not be today. Okay, so yum. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Yeah, you wish you had the bottle. Hey. Oh. Why do you like Deidre, not Valley? She looks like, um, yeah, I'm going to have to make a meme, meme picture for her. I've got her in Valley. Queen of the drama. So, okay, if you watch their body language and the way they behave, you'll see that it's, it's currently Bonnie. Of the drama. Bonnie, Queen, Queen Bonnie of the drama. See this here? See how all her hair is missing there? Yeah. That is Horn. from Bonnie. Horn. That Because she didn't have that before. And that's why, Love. that's one of the other reasons why we're making sure. She's losing all her hair. No, she's not. Just in the lines where Bonnie has ripped it with the horn. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit. She hasn't broken the skin, thank goodness. Yeah. But I'm it's, I'm it's on the other side as well. Um, so we're actually going to do something to fix that in a minute. Um, 
but she is behaving beautifully. I don't want to remove her horns if I don't have to. I want to show her that she can't use them in that negative way or she'll end up with her princess crown that we're designing. Um, but yeah, so don't get into something like this if, if you aren't able to maintain that control because when an animal starts getting away with bad behaviour, if it doesn't get pulled up and stopped straight away, then, you know, you've got to be dealing with it forevermore. And so will their next owners and things like that. And they're just too dangerous to let them get away with stuff like that, to be really honest with you. Um, and that's why she's going to be wearing a crown. Because she realises that she picked me up and she realises that she hurt me, definitely. Uh, we were eye to eye and she, she knew it and I knew it. But, um... You know, an animal's gonna do what an animal's gonna do, obviously. I've got this hair flying around everywhere. Because I've been patting her. Good girl. Um, but yeah, so I'm still quite badly injured, like the bruising is really full on. I'll insert a picture. Um, I went to the hospital yesterday, as you saw. And um, yeah, they I've pulled muscle and probably ligaments off the bone. I had an x-ray, um, there was no bone fragments attached to the muscle, which is one of the concerns that they had. So that's great, because if there was, it would have been a way bigger issue. Um, I think I came off all right, considering you know how bad it could have been. Uh, but it was a very um, timely reminder of you know why we need to always have our head on, why we need to always be concentrating and why we need to, um, you know, do certain things with animals. Like, I'm going to do a preventative on her. Um, we're going to make sure those horns can't hurt anyone. I don't want to take them off. She's a, they're hers, and she's a very pretty girl. That's a last resort. I will do that if she keeps using it. But um, for now, I just want to prevent them from hurting anyone. So we'll show you that process in a minute.
teenager. She's obviously still a big animal, so we still respect that. You out the way, my love. You out the way, sweet. Okay, that's enough. I don't want it to bend in. That's it. Good. There we go. I like you, And also, she can't hurt the other cows. Good. Good girl, that's your breakfast and we've already touched your udder today, haven't we, sweet girl? Little valley, little valley girl. You can go in there and pat her if you like. Watch out. Never put yourself in a position where the horn can get you, Grace. These horns, they're going to get removed when she has the baby. When, yeah, possibly, if she doesn't show signs of trying to hurt anyone. She's back. Oh. Where is she going to go horn belly in the bum? Wait. She'll be like, what is that? That feels different. What are you doing, beautiful? That's what she did the other day. She can't hurt Valley now. She's got, oh, she's got a crown on. Uh-huh. No, you can't come in here, sweetheart. She's actually not afraid. This is what it tells me. She's not afraid of the milky soup. There we go, guys. So I'm also... It's just rubbing her bum. Just giving her a pat. So that would have hurt her if she didn't have the bloody... So that's what she did yesterday when Valley was in having her breakfast. But you're not allowed back in there, Bon, because... Hey, Bonnie. Rudy. Didn't hurt her. That's all right. You didn't hurt Let her, her come back in. Stop. Let her come back in. Let her come back in. Valley's fine. And that's the thing. So we did see yesterday Bonnie was stabbing Valley in the tummy with her horns. Exactly, and that is why we've done what we've done this morning with her horns. Leave her, Brock. Don't torment her. There we go. Brock, leave it. It won't come off, love. It won't come off. Let's not agitate her anymore. Let her have her breakfast because then she's not going to be... Oh, it's okay. We'll make up some more for Valley, sweetie. We'll make up another feed. Let Bonnie finish hers. What is... Leave it please, Brock. I'll just it's it it's perfect. Out so, out wait. It's perfect. And last but not least, Valentine gets her breakfast. Yay. Hey. She is close to having a baby. So, she needs to have all that extra nutrition as well. Look at all that yumminess, girlfriend. you doing? You've already had two bre breakfasts, you little hobbit. You've already had two breakfasts, hobbit. Hey. Frodo. Hey. Deirdre, you cheeky girl. You cheeky girl. Did you open that gate down there for them to get out? Can you please do that? Because Bonnie wants to go out into the pasture. Queen Bonnie. Queen of the drama. Come on. Come on, D girl. Back, 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 back. Back, back, back. Come on, back, back. Back, back. Three quarters liters. Um, that's because Deirdre is being dried off and we're not fully emptying her out but we were getting consistently 
um, sort of around 10 litres. So it's pretty impressive. It means I'm going to have to start making cheese and different types of cheese too. So stay tuned for that um, and we'll learn together because I've made cheese before with goat's milk, but it's very different. So I'm going to get a few recipes together and um, yeah, keep your eyes and ears out for some cheese making videos.